Hey everybody, I uh, thought I'd give you an update on my toys. Uh, haven't talked about new toys for a while. I bought a uh, data projector a while back that I'm going to use for wedding slideshows eventually, but right now, she doesn't chill out and watch movies. And here it is, um, on the wall right now. I can blow this thing up to be 300 inches diagonal. Uh, it should make me some money, like I said, at weddings for slideshows eventually. And there it is, it's a uh, Toshiba DLP. Nice machine, got it on sale. Lost the lens cap already though, that's kind of a bummer. And then Guitar Center had their big Labor Day sale today, and I bought a couple cables. Um, let's see, this is a goofy one, and I don't know when I'm ever going to use it. But look, it's one AC that splits into two AC, and I don't know why that's going to come in handy someday, but it will. I had to have it. Um, this is a... Uh, a, ooh, look at this. It's a quarter inch stereo to XLR. And then we have a uh, another quarter inch stereo to XLR. And a short mic cable, little uh, five footer. Here is a mic cable. Here's a, uh, what is it, a, a 12 foot. Uh, speak on to quarter mono. Uh, let's see here. We have a. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Check this out. It's a quarter inch stereo to mini stereo, and I don't know why that's going to come in handy someday for me, but I know it will. So that's a cool thing. Uh, let's see. Mic cable. Another one. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these uh, quarter. This is quarter uh, mono to XLR. Here is a big giant uh, 25 foot speak on to quarter mono. Those would be great for my subs. Here's another 25 footer. Here you can see my price I paid for that. It was like 13.99. You know this is normally like a really expensive cable. I thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, this is here. Ah, oh, here's an interesting one. Here's an RCA to XLR. That's kind of cool. And then we have uh, my cable. Yeah, I bought a couple cables. Then I bought this little battle mixer, just kind of as a backup mixer. Or, you know, I don't really have a small mixer. I've got the new, um, the new Denon, and then I've got the old Behringer. But the Behringer's acting up on me. So I thought this would be a nice one to have around. It's a demo piece. But I paid like next to nothing for it, so I grabbed it up. Ooh, look, Brian broke down and bought LED lighting. They're little Chevet Par 36 cans. They're really tiny, they weigh next to nothing, and you can control them DMX. So now I have to go talk to our friend Dominic over at Uncle Bob's about a DMX controller for him. But uh, for PAR 36s, I thought they did a really nice color wash. So I can dump those old PAR 38 rickety cans I've got and run these from now on. And uh, yeah, they put out some nice color. See, they're real tiny little guys. Here's, here's my hand. They're, there's nothing to them. They're real small. Uh, and here we have four of them. So those are my new toys. Um, practice and enjoy.